Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Taylor and this is Spencer's Bookshelf. So this is my Winterween vlog and this time it is hosted by just Gabby from Gabby Reads and I will link her channel up here somewhere as well as down in the description box. And I'm filming this after the fact. So I started with a TBR of five books to fulfill these prompts and I didn't end up reading all of them. However, the four that I did read fulfill all of the prompts. So I still completed everything. Without further ado, here is my Winterween Readathon vlog. Okay, so I have gotten the first three chapters read, and this book is a lot longer than I initially thought, even though I've had it sitting on my shelves for years. Um, <laughs> so, a little backstory here with this series. I read the first two books, Red Queen and Glass Sword, back when they came out and then as book three king's cage and book four warstorm released i purchased them but i didn't get around to reading them so last year in 2023 i re reread red queen and glass sword and i read king's cage so now here i am on warstorm finally um and yeah so it's longer than i thought which means i am going to be dual formatting it for this readathon to get it done so i am reading both physically i have the hardback of it and then i also have the audiobook which is like 22 hours long <laughs> so yeah we will see how the rest of it goes, but I am enjoying it so far. Yeah, this is our first little mini Japan reunion. Um, you know, if you guys didn't know, we all traveled together to Japan in September. And it was like the best thing ever. Um, and we haven't, I don't think we've all been on a live stream since, right? Thank you so much to everybody who is already joining us for sprints today. This is so exciting. Um, there's so many people in the chat and I see all of you. I don't know if I can click every comment on screen because I don't know if I've ever had this many people on a live show, to be honest. There's like nearly 400 people here, so that's crazy. Okay, so Warstorm, I'm like a third of the way through. And I know this is going to be like a duh comment because they are very very similar series um <laughs> but this one is feeling a lot like the last hunger games book with the setup and everything before we're getting into the action i don't know if that is a good thing or a bad thing yet so i'm gonna keep reading and see if i can form a bit more solid of an opinion. <laughs>
just a quick update on Warstorm here. Um, I'm a little bit perplexed. So I'm 75% through the book and I don't know where it's going yet. Okay, so last night I got to 90% in the book and shit is going down. <laughs> um, one of the characters something happened to that like blew my mind. Um, I can't say what it is because this is the final book in a series so I don't want to spoil anything. But yeah, shit's going down and I'm going to drink my coffee here and finish the rest of the book. Okay, I finished War Storm and I'm not thrilled with how that ended. It wasn't a bad ending necessarily, but I think it could have been better. I'm gonna give this one 3.5 stars. That will bring my series average rating down quite a bit, but that's okay. So I'm 17% into Stolen Tongues, and it's creepy. Don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying it. However, things got really creepy really fast, and I still have like eight, like seven and a half, eight hours left of this audiobook. And I'm wondering if it's going to end up feeling very repetitive by the end. But so far I'm enjoying it and can't wait to read more. Okay, so I finished Stolen Tongues and I'm giving it four stars. So I really enjoyed the storyline. We were following Felix and his wife. Did I really just forget her name? Faye. His wife, Faye. <laughs> and they spent time in this cabin and things started to get really strange. Um, Faye suffers from night terrors and sleepwalking and they just kept getting worse and worse and it seemed like people were talking to her and so it just keeps getting creepier and creepier and I don't want to spoil anything because it is kind of a short book um, but there are creatures and it is supposedly rooted in like native lore. I have not done any research to verify this claim. Um, there is an author's note at the end where the author talks about how he himself is not native and he went back and forth on whether or not he should include native characters, but he went ahead and did because those were the characters that he wanted to write. I'm not going to get into the semantics really of all of it, um, but I enjoyed the story. I thought it 
flowed well. However, some parts did feel repetitive, which is why it's not a five star and it's only a four star. But I do think it is a really good read. And I do know that this book started out as a story that was posted to Reddit that gained like a huge following and became a book after that. So I do think that's really cool. So that was my read in the dark book. It is done. Check it off the list and moving on to the next one. read the first three chapters of the graphic novel Witches. I'm slightly confused. Um, I really don't like the art style. <laughs> I hate to say that. I do think that the color palette chosen is really good. Um, I just I don't like the art style and so far it's a bit confusing. It is definitely creepy. Um, so I'm going to keep going because it's a graphic novel and it's really not that long. Um, oh, these aren't numbered. Okay. Um, not exactly sure how many pages it is, but it's definitely less than 200 pages. I am like halfway through the actual like meat of the story because there's like 20 or so pages at the end that are just about the creating of the story and the art and things. So I will finish this today. Maybe by the end I will um, have a better idea of what's happening. <laughs> Witches. I'm giving it two and a half stars. The story did end up making a bit more sense by the end. However, I don't think it was that original. I really hate the art style and I think it could have just been done way better to be a lot more interesting. So yeah, two and a half stars. 
checking that one off my list and on to the next book. Okay, so I'm about halfway through Ghost from the Grand Banks, and I'm a little bit disappointed, to be honest. Um, like, it's a good book. It's much more, like, real-life science-y than I was expecting. Um, it is set in 2012. This book was written in 1990, so that's quite a bit in the future for when the book was written. And it is a sci-fi novel about a few different organizations, um, companies, private citizens that are racing each other to raise the Titanic. Now, I'm a bit disappointed because I'm about halfway through and very little about the Titanic has been said so far. There's been some references to the degree of disarray that the ship is in and everything. And then there's been talk about the different methods and things that these individual groups are wanting to do to raise it up to the surface. I don't, I don't, I guess I don't really know what I was expecting because now that I'm talking about it, it, you know, it seems like it's going exactly how it how it would go. I'm just, I'm super obsessed <laughs> with Titanic and I guess I was just expecting a little more of Titanic focused literature in here, but there's still half the book to go. I'm assuming we're going to get more um, scenes where they're actually down at the bottom of the ocean where the Titanic is and doing things to actually get it up to the surface. That's where I'm at. I don't really have any other thoughts at the moment. Um, oh, other than this is reading so quickly. It's thick pages and short chapters. <laughs> so I definitely think I could finish this in the next few hours maybe 
if I just keep reading. So yeah, see how the rest of it goes. <laughs> down inside because it is a negative 30 wind chill outside right now. I did finish Ghost from the Grand Banks and I'm giving it four and a half stars. So this does conclude Winterween for me. Now Ghost from the Grand Banks is quite a bit different than I was expecting. There were some plot twists that I did not see coming but that I really think added to the story and it was very sciencey so instead of like out there science fiction it was much more realistic science fiction and one that I actually think my husband may read because I think it would appeal to how his brain works four and a half stars. I'm so glad that I finally read it. And that is it for Winterween. So if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a like. And as always, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I have more vlogs coming for this year that I am super excited about, as well as some sit-down videos that I'm really looking forward to, and I don't want you guys to miss out on any of it. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Bye!